As a medical oncologist faced with treating patients, I think it's important to point out that what we've seen here is an expansion of the clinical benefits of abiraterone. We have an orally available, uh, well-tolerated, generally safe agent that leads to clinical responses uh, in over half of patients who take it, 64% or so, had substantial declines in PSA. We see also that we can maintain quality of life in these patients. We, we kept people free from pain for a longer period of time. Patients took a longer time until they required chemotherapy, and they took a longer time until their performance status declined. And those are really easy to understand endpoints for any tre treating oncologist. And so I think the take home message is now you not only have a new option in abiraterone, but you have the potential uh, for, uh, uh, the, for the ability to use this agent earlier in the clinical course. Uh, so we'll, we'll be hopeful that the regulatory review that happens uh, is favorable, uh, but I think that the, uh, the, uh, it's great to have another option uh, for all of us treating this patient, these patients.